everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i'm going to be doing a set of fall nails using these model ones acrylics i'm using the number 15 48 50 and 20 i do have a promo code for them so i'll be sure to leave it down below um so i'm not going to be keeping these nails on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do i did a little bit of cuticle oil on my nails and then i'm going in with two coats of gel polish so that's why they're super shiny and then that way whenever i'm done i can just pop them right off and it doesn't damage my nail because whenever you tear it off it just tears off the two coats of gel polish and then since there's oil that's how come they can just come off super easily so the nail tips that i'm using these are actually the press on nails by mccart but i'm just using them as tips so as you can see i just apply them right at the very tip of my nails and as always, whenever you're applying nail tips, you make sure that you apply them from sidewall to sidewall. And then also I am using the KDS glue to apply them. And I'm literally doing like y'all a tiny, tiny bit uh, dot of glue so I can take them right off. So after this, we're going to go in and start with the acrylic like i said y'all i'm not keeping these nails on that's why i'm doing this process now of course you know whenever you are doing your nails um you prep the nail by pushing back the cuticles removing the shine you know trimming them down applying the primer all that good stuff but not for this video um and then i'm also going to be using my jc beauty concepts clear acrylic you know to encapsulate the nails so the first thing that i'm going to do is just do a clear bead on the entire nail that's just as the base you know usually i do it so anytime you know i'm ready to remove the colored acrylic we just file the colored acrylic off and then there's clear underneath but it's just a habit so that's why i went ahead and did it and then i'm gonna go with all four colors and i'm just gonna do almost like a marble just kind of <clears throat> randomly applying the colors on the nails and as you guys know the last time that i used the um model ones acrylics like some were giving me a hard time because they wouldn't like move around very easily but all three of these colors went on super super easily as you can see and they're also very pretty and i just love the gold glitter one and they're super affordable so if you're on a budget and looking for colored acrylics they are definitely you know some good ones to try but once i did my colors i'm going in with some little leaves because y'all listen i said whenever some of these leaves on these trees behind my house change colors that's when it was about to start being fall for me and like one little leaf turned red so yeah it's fall time now <laughs> for me so anyways after i applied the little leaves randomly on the nail i'm going in with a little bit of gold foil just randomly applying it on there as well and with this one i just pick it up with my brush and then just place it on the nail and it lays right down after that we're gonna go in and encapsulate all of this and like i said i'm using the jc beauty concepts clear acrylic and then also the brush that i'm using as you can see is my alpha brush in a number 10 which i absolutely love so i'll be sure to leave that link down below for you guys um but i'm also gonna do that same design on my middle finger i think but as you can see it was super easy you're literally just lapping the colored acrylic on there and just kind of you know with your brush guiding it wherever you want it to be so for me it was just all the way you know up and down the nail and then did the glitter and the leaves and the foil and that's it so same thing for this one kind of so as far as the clear just placing the bead down brushing it down towards the tip and then for this one i'm gonna do an ombre which y'all like i was trying to figure out like if i wanted to do the little um like this copper color first and then do like a black at the back closer to the cuticle area or like this brownish color and i decided to go with the glitter and y'all i loved it so much like it looks so good so i will probably be trying it on somebody else doing a set just like this one because after i took it off like i was like maybe i can do my nails like this 
because it was so freaking cute but i definitely loved this now so as you can see i'm just going in with the gold and then just kind of blending it right in the middle we don't want to brush it all the way down towards the tip because then it will take away from the ombre effect so like i said just blending it in the middle but y'all those two colors look so freaking good together but once we have a good coverage around the cuticle area we're gonna go in with the clear Alrighty, I'm finishing up this index finger and look y'all that is so cute so now um, for the ring finger I'm gonna do this ring finger just clear so I'm going in with the JCBD concepts clear acrylic place my bead down gently brushing it down towards the tip wiping my brush off as I go that way the acrylic does not get stuck on my brush going in and doing another bead closer to the tip same thing patting it down and brushing it down and then the next I'm gonna place closer to the cuticle area placing it down gently patting it down and then brushing down and then cleaning around the cuticle area if we need to um and then what else for the middle finger i'm gonna go ahead and do it just like i did the thumb and then the pinky i'm gonna do all black which i absolutely love the black pinky it just i don't know y'all it just gave me a whole different vibe it was super cute so i'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch and then i'll be back
so y'all see how good that pinky looks like that is so cute so um now i'm gonna go ahead and put everything up like i said i used number 15 48 it was uh 20 and whatever other number it was um so afterwards i'm gonna go in and reshape the nails so at first i didn't shape them up because of course they're already that coffin shape so now i'm just going in and reshaping them falling at the free edge at a 90 degree angle as well as the sides and since they're already coffin you don't really have to do much at all just going in and basically perfecting the shape but remember the key to shaping is making sure that you hold your file at the angle that way they are super super straight and you get that perfect coffin shape Also, whenever I am shaping my own nails, it's easy if I or easier if I place my finger at the edge of the table to follow the free edge. That way, my finger is not just wobbling all over the place like you see here. So I just place my finger down and just file. That way I get a lot more stability as I'm shaping. Next, I'm going to go in with the e-file. This is the Melody Susie Scarlet Nail Drill, which I absolutely love. And I am using my fine ceramic drill bed. We're going around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side. And then just following the rest of the nail as I go. Now, I didn't really do much following just because I'm not keeping these nails. So it was really no need, especially since the nails were already like nice and smooth. But I still wanted to go through the motions just so I I wouldn't you know confused and confuse anyone um so same thing y'all going around a cuticle area following the rest of the nail and then after this we're just gonna buff the nails really good and that's gonna get it rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file Alrighty, so now I wipe the nails off, well dust them off and then wipe them off after I buff them and then I'm going to go in with some bling for the ring finger and this is my like, it's like a burnt orange um, color and we're just going to do like an ombre on this ring finger so placing them around the cuticle area and then scattering them around as they get closer to the tip and these are super cute so I'll definitely have to do another set uh, with these and I'll probably y'all once it get a look once it actually gets a little cooler and more into fall time um i'll most definitely be doing a set just like this one to actually keep on Thank you. 
Oh yeah, and then the glue that I'm using to apply my bling is the Soleil you Nail know Adhesive, which is the one that I always use. And I really, really like because it works so well. And then for the pinky, I was going to leave it black, but I wanted to still add some. So I'm going to add some little um, gold pieces as well as those same um, orange uh, crystals. Alrighty, so this is what they look like so now I'm gonna go ahead and spray the bling with the hurry up spray and it's just gonna help the glue dry a lot faster and then I'm going in with my Madame Glam gel top coat and I'm gonna apply that on all of the nails and then we're gonna go back in and cure for 60 seconds Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really, really pretty. I hate that I didn't do this set to keep it on because it just looks so good y'all so as always i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter at getno32 and i'll see you guys next time